Hello guys, my, uh, you know, the teenage special I'm working on is actually, uh, I did some last minute editing, and now, uh, Windows Movie Maker is being some sort of a hybrid between a douchebag and a butthole, and I, I'd call it a douchehole, or something even worse than that, but, you know, but I'm not here to talk about that. Ugh, whenever I get that out, I'll. I'll give it to you, but right now, I wanted to talk a little bit about, well, I was looking at Alpha, Alpha Omega Sin's video, and, and, uh, I had, you know, we was talking about Sigur Mimo was interviewed, and the one person said, will there ever be a Nintendo amusement park in real life, and I was, and, uh, he said, he said that, uh, it's in the realm of possibilities and you know pretty much like like pretty much saying never say never but okay but I have like these like huge huge vast quantity of ideas for it I swear to god it makes me so I don't I, I don't know how to describe it it just it brings out the inner Nintendo fanboy in me I just it, it, you know so, I was thinking, um, okay, let me talk about, let me talk about the rides. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, because there's a lot of stuff, Mario's, uh, Mar some stuff in Mario's Adventures that could be rides, like, um, like when you're, uh, in the, when, like when you got the, when Mario has the, uh, flight cap, and, um, he's flying around. You know, and let's just say they get a ride that kind of simulates Mario's, you know, flying around, but you're in, like, a little car, and you're flying around with them. You're not actually doing it. You're not actually, like, in the air, but it simulates the fact that you're in the air, and you actually feel like you're flying with Mario. It just would be so awesome. Okay, next attraction. Um, um Okay. Okay, what do we have? Uh, what what do I... Oh, yeah. There should totally be an Earthbound something. I'm thinking either roller coaster or just like a ride that goes through the whole... Kind of goes through the good parts of the game. Even Gygus. And I know Gygus would... Gygus would give a whole bunch of little kids nightmares, but I think... Gygus would give a whole bunch of little kids nightmares, but I think it would be so freaking awesome. But they can't do Mother 3. That's the only way this is going to work. They can't do Mother 3. Because Mother 3, because Mother 3 is very freaking depressing. <laughs> I swear to God. Um, but I would like to see, um, Ness's hometown, like, uh, part of, like, part of one of the theme parks. There's a little, little drugstore. And when you come in, it actually has the, uh, it actually has the background music, and I, it actually sings as you come in, you know, like, it goes, you know, and actually, it actually has a person singing it when you come in. This can be, like, pre-recorded, or someone can actually just come in, like, every hour or so, he, you know, a person can sing it. So, um... For, okay, for Link, I'm thinking, yeah, thinking the same thing with Link, like, because there's so many moments that make Legends of Zelda awesome, and thinking of putting them in a ride is like, it's like picking your favorite, it's like picking your favorite, it's just like picking your favorite movie, and you, you have to go somewhere, and you only can pick, like, maybe one, two, or three of them. So you gotta pick your favorite movie, then you got like a whole bunch of movies, but you gotta pick your favorite. So, so it's kind of like that. But I was thinking more along the lines of an actual. I was thinking more along the lines of kind of something kind of like Battle Quest. Um, how Nintendo had on Wii U, like something like Battle Quest. Uh, you actually have a little sword, a little shield. One dude, 
one dude actually actually has an actually has an arrow. And this is like 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 the moblins and stuff are like robots. Um you kinda you you um now these are like I'm thinking like they should be CGI. That that's CGI uh animatronic, that's what I mean. Animatronic. And you fight them, you like slash them and then they're done. They're like down like lay their shit down. And then you keep going and going and you get to the boss fight. And Ganon needs to be in the boss fight for like like because it's not gonna be like a whole bunch of things. It's just gonna be one go, but Ganon needs to be at the end. Um, Ganon needs to be at the end, and you fight him. It's like this big, hulking animatronic of Ganon, just in his, um, in his pig form, and I just think that would be freaking cool. You just start slashing with your sword, and you fight it, and you actually, and you kind of, um, make a reference to the first game, you shoot laser beams out of your sword. Or whatever, whatever those little, I'm saying, you know, whatever those little sword shots are. But seriously, that'd be cool. Um, the one thing I, the one thing if 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 this Nintendo themed amusement park, and I would call it Nintendo Land, and the other one could be called Nintendo World. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of like Disneyland with the name themed probably but not really probably would be some sort of legal issue but uh, I'm not trying to think of that um shows shows okay I'm thinking I'm thinking like the, I'm thinking like a Super Smash Brothers a Super Smash Brothers show uh, you know live show where you know we got people in costumes as as you know, the characters, and they reenact Soul Space Embassy to a freaking T. I don't I, like. I don't know how it would be done. I'm thinking like people dressing up and animatronics again. I don't know. I'm stuck on the animatronics for some reason. Um, I, you know that would be kind of cool. They just reenacted, but you actually have the narrator narrating what's going on. Because, you know, in Soul Space Embassy, you kind of had to, you kind of get the gist of what was going on in Soul Space Embassy, and if you went to Super Smash for the dojo, you, then you kind of know what was going on, what was going on in that story, you're like, oh, okay, I get it now. And, okay, and, um, thinking like, I'm thinking like Mario should have like at least three rides. Luigi should have one, and it should be a freaking haunted house. It should be a haunted house. You have your own little polter. You know, you have your own little polter gust. You have your own little polter go gust, and you're like chasing the ghost around. And you and it actually like sucks and sucks and stuff. And you actually you actually catch the most ghosts in real life. Like how it is in the game. Well, the multiplayer aspect of Dark Moon, and trust me, I'm going to review that soon. Um, what else? What else? I don't want to forget anything. Um, 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 oh yeah, there should be okay. There should be some sort of Miyamoto and Mario statue. It doesn't have to be exactly like uh, Walt Disney. Uh, grabbing Mickey's hand and whatnot, it could be something totally different, but something like that, or big Mario, uh, just a big, a big golden statue of Mario, like the ones you get um, from uh, from e uh, from uh, certain Nintendo, certain Nintendo stores, and uh, from the from the game Super Mario Brothers, New Super Mario Brothers Two. But bigger. And uh, the entrance, and I know it's good, this sounds a way too much like Disneyland, but it needs to be Peach's Castle. Okay? 
it needs to be business casual. And everything needs to be handicap accessible because most people most people really need to you know, even if you're in a wheelchair you need to be able to enjoy it. You know what I'm talking about? That's pretty much that's the most important thing of the whole music park. Everything has to be handicapped accessible. Okay. And a whole bunch of other stuff. Um um, let me, let me see, let me see. Um, what else, what else? Oh, yeah, there should be a Star Fox fight simulator. I went to, I went to a freaking arcade called the Boondocks in, in Salt Lake, and, uh, there was a big old flight simulator. So I'm thinking something along the lines of that. And there, it's like the game, but it's a totally different story. It's like... What Star Fox 2 would have been like without Star Fox Adventure? You know, you're in your R Wing, Peppy and freaking Peppy and freaking Falco are there. Freaking Slivy is there, you always have to save him. It's pretty much the same thing, but you're doing it for real in like an actual kinda kind of like an actual R Wing with the moves and the uh you know, if you get hit, you're you know, the whole cockpit of the R wing starts to shake. Something something good and something good like that. Now for Donkey Kong for Donkey Kong. Oh, for Donkey Kong I had like this Alpha Omega Sin pointed this out and they had to add the mine cart chase scenes. I think that could probably happen, um, for most of it. I think that could probably happen, but I want and Donkey Kong should have like a like two rides that and uh, King Rules King Rules battle where you kind of wit you're kind of like in a car in a little cart and you're on like this path where you see Donkey Kong uh, jumping on King Rules head throughout all the games leading up to uh, leading up to sixty four because uh, you know he isn't in he isn't ever t- Freaking King Rule isn't in King K Rule isn't in Returns. That that kind of got me mad. I'm like, why is it not in it? It's Donkey Kong Country. Come on, you know, just something like that. I know I'm being very vague with these, but you know, I'm just saying, I'm just giving a little bit of my ideas to you guys, and maybe you might want to fill in the blanks if you want. There needs to be a punch out attraction where I actually can punch. You can actually punch some of the characters from, uh, you can actually punch some of the characters from freaking, um, from freaking the Punch-Out! game. Um, they can punch you, but not, like, actually punch you. There's, like, a sensor, and you're, like, you'll be wearing one of those, like, little helmets, and there's, like, a, there's, like, a little sensor in it, and then they go, you know, then it goes, boom! And there's like a look, and for people that are watching you do this, there's like a screen so they can see it. It looks awesome. It looks awesome like you're actually in the game and you do a star punch. Now, now a star punch is going to be like you just punch them. But for the people that are watching and they see it on the screen, they actually see you like a star punch. And then you go, then when you're done, you actually can, uh, you can actually get like a CD of it and watch it and see how you took down Glass Joe. Now, I would just do Glass Joe and Bear Hugger because, come on, man, I, I beat them before I can do it again. But this time, for real. <laughs> oh, God, I love Punch Out. That was my, that, seriously, Super Punch Out and the Wii Punch Out is my favorite games. And the first one is too. Um, what else, what else, what else am I forgetting, um, well, Alpha Omega Sin pointed out Samus, um, and the Mario Kart thing, so I'm not really going to point that out, um, I would like to see, and one, like, like, on its anniversary, Sigiro Miyamoto actually picks a Nintendo Land to come to. 
because I'm thinking like there should be one and no. No. It's not me though. But I think there should be one in Nevada somewhere. Don't ask me why. Don't ask don't ask me why or how. I just think it would be cool if Nevada had their own their other amusement park like it'd be like Circus Circus. I mean not like Circus Circus, but it, it we'd have you know, they'd have like two amusement parks, Circus Circus and freaking Nintendo World. Yeah, I'm thinking of just calling it a Nintendo World. Um I'm just saying then people would be like, Oh my god, Circus Circus, but Nintendo World and when you come when you come in the entrance, you hear that doom 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 doom, doom like the game. It's just like like Nintendo Land and the mine the mine cards the Donkey Kong mine card stuff, but you can also do the Donkey Kong Trungle Beat Boss Rush. Oh, now that would be so cool. You get like these pongo drums. And uh it's pretty much self explanatory from there. But you do it on a big screen and everybody can see everybody can see you and it's like awesome. And you fight nothing but the freaking bosses. It's like really epic. And then like Late and like in the evenings, they'll have like live orchestras play your favorite like play your favorite game tunes from your favorite Nintendo games. I would say Sonic should have a attraction too because Nintendo because Nintendo and Sega are like you know they're like best friends and they in. They're like best friends that hated each other, but now they're all cool with each other. So, you know, who wouldn't want a mo- who wouldn't want a- who wouldn't want a freaking uh, little part of a green hill zone? Just telling you, that'd be like that would be money in freaking Nintendo Nintendo's pocket. Literal gold mine, actually. And okay, okay. And, like, there should be, like, contests for, like, new Mario games. Like, we, they'll be like, we want you to give us ideas for the next Mario game. And it won't be, like, Capcom because Nintendo actually gives a crap. Um, well, they do. Capcom kind of does, and they kind of do. So, <sighs> okay, I'm a little, I'm a little hot. A little hot because in here I'm a little it's like freaking steaming in here. So if I'm stammering, I'm sorry. Um, what else? Oh yeah, there. One last thing. There should be like there needs to be a lot of roller coasters for Pokemon, and there should be like a there should be like a actual karaoke Pokemon thing. Because Pokemon had a lot of songs back in the you know, back in the nineties, you know, because back in the nineties and two thousand two thousands, um the early two thousands and that'd be kinda cool you just do karaoke. I can see some I can see some idiots just going singing uh Brock's theme and going a one woman, a one woman man. It's what I want to be. I would if I could, but it is no good. Cause there's two perfect girls for me. Oh, Jenny. <laughs> oh, Jenny. Joy. Oh, joy. A one woman man's what I want to be. But there's two perfect girls for me. I don't know. I'm just thinking like. I, I, that's kind of like my Christopher Walken impression, but I swear to God, that'd be funny. Just Christopher Walken just sings that song. It's a karaoke thing, and he just sings it. I just think that'd be freaking awesome. That'd be like best theme park ever. <laughs> um, last thing, there should be a fireworks display because of all. Because some theme parks have it, and yeah, I'm thinking of Disneyland. 
um, there also should be there should be a separate part since Sega and Nintendo are buddy buddy. There should be a Sega World, like in Australia, but different, so very different. Because you know, freaking you have this. Because when you think about it, when you go to Disneyland, you have the regular Disneyland park, and you have California Adventure. So that would make. And since Nintendo and Sega are buddy buddy, I think this could technically happen. And there should. And, oh yeah, before I before I forget, there should be a sh- There should be a live show with Sonic. And Mario, you know, an actual adventure, not them doing sports for our amusement. No, like an actual adventure where you get Bowser, you get Eggman, it's just, it's freaking, it's freaking awesome. You just, just tell me how awesome it is. Um, you know, these are just my thoughts of how a Nintendo theme park would be in real life. I mean, if you have your own opinions, cool. If you dislike this video, it's all right. I don't, I don't really care, but you know, just listen to what I have to say. And if you like it, cool. If you dislike it, well, well. But um, oh yeah, for a Pokemon thing, for the last Pokemon attraction, though, there should be like uh four kids beat down, where you where you actually beat the logo up from four kids for no. For, for like for like fun purposes. It's just like something you can do between rides. Just you know, oh Luigi's Ghost Mansion is actually filled up to the brim. And I could actually see an F Zero ride too. But it had to be way, way safe because you know how F Zero is. And just saying there's like a whole bunch of like stuff I have for uh Nintendo and any kind of amusement park ride. I'm forgetting a few because it is really, really hot in this room right now, and I'm I'm trying to remember the rest, but I can't. So I'm just gonna end this video now and probably go grab myself some water. See you guys later. This is Bugsy signing off. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on it and an actual Nintendo amusement park. I'm probably gonna call this video. Things I want for a real Nintendo land. And, uh, you know, see you guys later. Bye.